Uh, tonight's speaker's Mark Freakers is very impressive. Uh, he is a chemist, writer, and philosopher of science. He is, as previously mentioned, a lecturer at the University of California in Los Angeles. And he is the foundation, founder and editor-in-chief of Foundations of Chemistry, which is an international peer-reviewed journal that covers everything from the history and philosophy of chemistry and chemical education. Um, he is, according to Wikipedia, not just me, Wikipedia says that he is a world authority on the history and philosophy of the periodic table. So I don't think there's anyone more appropriate to be giving the talk uh, this evening. Um, he was a participant in the 2014 PBS documentary, The Mystery of Matter. Uh, he's also published five, is that right? I can only see four up there. There's five um, popular science books uh, with Oxford University Press, uh, some of which are available outside, uh, should you uh, wish to find out a bit more after tonight's talk. Um, so that's pretty much it, as you can see, a, a very uh, qualified individual, and I, I'm, as you can see, we've got lots of great kids and stuff. So can you please put your hands together and welcome tonight's speaker, Dr. Eric Sherry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, what Martin did not mention was that I grew up here in London for draining my brain to the United States 20 years ago. And um, as a kid, I was brought here on school trips to come and attend lectures here. A couple of my high school friends are actually in the audience somewhere. The lights are pretty strong, so I can't see any of you, by the way. Um, thank you for coming. Let me, let me begin. Um, the theatre you're sitting in was designed and built in the year 1800. The photograph you see there, or the, uh, the image you see there, I'm not sure it's a photograph, is from 1909, and that's James Dewar of the Dewar Flask performing experiments and lecturing in here. Um, the RI is very, very much connected with the discovery of the elements. No less than 10 elements were discovered in one way or the other in this very institution. And we'll be seeing something about the elements that he discovered. In fact, we have the original samples of four of Davy's elements right here, and you can come and uh, examine them afterwards if you wish. Things like chlorine and potassium. I say one way or the other because actually Davy discovered nine of these. I'll be, I'll be saying more about Davy's discoveries in a moment. First, let, let me just give you a few quotations on the periodic table that have appeared here and there. The periodic table is nature's Rosetta Stone. To the uninitiated, uninitiated it's just 100 plus numbered boxes, as you can see up there, each containing one or two letters arranged with an odd skewed symmetry. The periodic table itself has got a sort of an odd symmetry about it. At the fundamental level, all of chemistry is contained in the periodic table. The periodic table is probably the most compact and meaningful compilation of knowledge that man has yet devised. Perhaps the most recognizable icon in all of science is the periodic table of the elements. And the lights of the <laughs> My fault, perhaps, I'm not sure. So talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> All the service. It's probably on one of those. It shouldn't be. 